Good morning and happy Sunday and welcome to the 2022 Fantasy Football Week 1 Injury Report. I'm your host for today and for the next few minutes, I'm going to do a quick rundown of the latest injuries so that you can apply them to your roster moves for today's games. The New England Patriots wide receiver Jacoby Myers is listed as questionable with a knee injury but was limited in practice all week and is expected to play in week one. But if Myers sits, Devonnie Parker will become the wide receiver number one, Nelson Aguilar will become the wide receiver number two, and Kendrick Bourne will become the wide receiver number three. The New York Jets quarterback Zach Wilson is out for at least the next four weeks with a knee injury. Expect to see either Joe Flacco or Mike White under center until further notice. Joe Flacco is a 37-year-old journeyman who has been an average quarterback for most of his career and isn't expected to get any better. Mike White is 27 years old and has yet to be a proven player in the NFL. If you're desperate for a quarterback, Joe Flacco should get the first crack as the starter. The Baltimore Ravens running back J.K. Dobbins is questionable for week one as he recovers from last year's ACL surgery. If Dobbins sits in week one, expect to see Kenyon Drake and Mike Davis be his replacement with Davis as the possible lead back against the Jets defense that gave up 138 rushing yards per game in 2021, the fourth most in the league. But even with such a great matchup, it sounds like the running back position will be shared by a committee. Denver Broncos wide receiver K.J. Hamler is questionable for week one as he recovers from off-season surgeries for his knee and hip. If Hamler sits in week one, expect to see either Montrell Washington, Tyree Cleveland, or Jalen Virgil none of whom are proven NFL players take his place. The Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Michael Gallup is out for week one with a knee injury and might be replaced by Noah Brown, while Jalen Tolbert might be a healthy scratch for a lack of production during preseason. Brown is ready for the season opener after missing time this summer with a minor toe injury, and he could have a significant role for the first couple of weeks. Green Bay Packers wide receiver Alan Lazard is doubtful for week one. With Sammy Watkins and Randall Cobb moving up in rank, the number three wide receiver will be second year player Amari Rogers, who will share his position with a slew of other receivers. Because of that, Rogers will not be a recommended play for fantasy purposes in week one. The Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Drake London is questionable with a knee injury for week one. If he can't play, Olamide Zach Chias will move up to wide receiver number one. Brian Edwards will move up to wide receiver number two. But no wide receiver will have much value beyond tight end Kyle Pitts. The New Orleans Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas is questionable for week one with a hamstring injury, but looks like he might play. If he sits, Jarvis Landry will become the wide receiver number one, Chris Olave will become the wide receiver number two, and Marquez Callaway will become the wide receiver number three. If Michael Thomas plays, it sounds like he might be limited in snaps. Either way, it doesn't look like Thomas will be the option he normally is when he's healthy. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver Chris Godwin is questionable with a knee injury and will be a game-time decision. Wide receiver Russell Gage is questionable with a hamstring injury, but looks like he will play. If Godwin sits, Gage will be the wide receiver number two and three wide out sets along with wide receiver number one Mike Evans, and Julio Jones will be the wide receiver number three. 
The Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Rondell Moore is out with a hamstring injury in week one. Marquise Brown will be the wide receiver number one. A.J. Green will be the wide receiver number two. And Andy Isabella and Greg Dortch will share wide receiver number three duties. Expect A.J. Green to play every snap. Tight end Zach Ertz is questionable with a calf injury for week one. If he can't play, Trey McBride, who is not a recommended option for fantasy purposes, is next on the depth chart. The San Francisco 49ers tight end George Kittle is questionable with a growing injury for week one. If he can't play, the next tight end on the depth chart is Charlie Werner, who is not a recommended play for fantasy purposes. Thank you for watching the 2022 Fantasy Football Week 1 Injury Report. I hope you enjoyed the show and that you'll be with me again next Sunday for another quick rundown of the latest injuries so that you can apply them to your rosters for the Week 2 games. In the meantime, good luck winning your leagues.